Welcome to the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland, Central Florida's best real estate planner, alongside the best mortgage guy in the world, yes, Bruce we Woodburn, are. the Lone Ranger. And today I'm going to be talking about a couple of things. I want to talk about how prices are still rising. So don't let these interest rates stop you from buying or selling. Prices are up. We're going to talk about the number of realtors is down. Wonder why. I wonder why. And we'll talk about some fake news out there. I'm really disappointed in the National Association of Realtors. And then we're going to talk about what's your real estate plan. And, and why you should have a real estate plan. We'll get into that this show. Bruce, what do you got for today? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about what are interest rates doing? Is this the right time to buy? Should we hold off for right now? Uh, what are the opportunities? Because there's always opportunities, Cleve, in a, in a down market. And even though we would consider this to be a softer down market, we've got to talk about where the opportunities are. Because as fate would have it, uh, we have a strong segment of the market that are buying investment properties right now. So investors are moving in uh, lots of DSCRs, bank statement programs, self-employed programs that we're doing right now. But when we see investors flooding the market, it means that they don't care about rates. They care about appreciation. So we're going to talk about the opportunities in a down market because there always are. And that's when you have to pounce on it. I want to talk a little bit about some down payment assistance programs and then some other builders and construction loans that we're doing lots of right now. So we got a lot of things to cover today, but we definitely want to cover what's going on in the real estate market because that affects all of us. Well, the, and the prices are up, Bruce, and that's the one thing. That's why it doesn't matter if rates are in the low sevens. The price is, so let's say your mortgage payment is going to cost you about 500 bucks more a month than if the rates were in the fives right? or, or the fours. Which it is about right, four and, to and, 500 and, and so that's six grand a year, but prices are rising on your your, reg, your average home. They're rising about 15,000 a year. Well, So even in a, a down economy, thank you, Sleepy Joe. Hopefully he's not awake because whenever he wakes up, something bad come, happens. But it's, it's the prices are rising faster. And part of this is because in this central Florida market, you'll read different parts about how the country, parts of the country have slowed down or luxury markets hurting. In Central Florida, we don't have that. We don't have $30 million no. penthouses like Manhattan. No, does, we don't. Or, or high-rise condos in LA for $40 million. And, and we don't have those things here or million or or luxury mansion taxes on properties over $5 million, thank goodness. So, But it's in Central Florida, we keep growing because we get people from the rest of the country. Yes, that is a small part of it. But about 20% of the people we get here in Central Florida, Bruce, are from other parts of Florida because right. they love Florida, but it's gotten a little too expensive for them. Or they're tired Maybe of, down in South Florida. Or their insurance premium up. just went from five grand to 20 grand and yeah. they want to move. So, so you said something a minute ago that I think we need to, we need to actually just examine for a second because you said that the house of price, the price of houses have gone up $15,000, right? Yep. And I think that's a minimum. I yep. think you're closer to 25 say on your average let, house for let's just yeah. use let's use your fifteen thousand dollar appreciation and yet on a four hundred thousand dollar house your payment's about 300 to 350 higher with this mid seven rate than it is a mid five rate right yep, yep. so we know let's just say it's 350 bucks yep you're missing out your your appreciation at fifteen thousand dollars a year is twelve hundred and fifty dollars a month Yep. So subtract your $350, you're still making your profit, you're up $900 a month. From the appreciation. From yeah. the appreciation. And alone. you're not paying rent. Check that swing. You're not So you're renting rent. some, especially if you're a first time buyer, listen to me closely. You're giving your landlord $24,000 a year. Well, and you're paying 100% interest rate because, you know, you can't complain about a 7.5% interest rate when you're paying 100% interest rate on rent. It's doing nothing for and you. You know what the, the developers have done in the past 10, 15 years on the nice, the ultra nice, all these new apartment complexes you right. see, you know what they've done to keep people Well, they want, they put in gyms, they, they put, put in gyms, theaters, theaters, they put in... Uh, uh, movie theaters. Right. Um, they do all these features, dog walk park. That's because they want yeah. to keep you there. They're not, they, they actually have some luxury units like penthouse units inside right. there. They've got garages built into them. They've got standalone. Sometimes you'll see them. There's garages on the outskirts of the development and there's a, there's a luxury apartment above that, you yes. know, so they're pretty smart at what they're doing. Well, so. they are smart. And here's the thing. You should be smart too. And that is why we teach our leapfrog class so that you can become an investor because don't you want to experience what these high-end investors and, and tell, are doing? In, in, a, in a nutshell, tell everybody what that is. Well, leapfrog is where you buy, you buy a home, you live in it for a couple of years, 
then you turn it into a rental and then you buy another one and you live in it for a couple of years and then you, you continue to buy primary residences. Primaries. And that's the main thing because I remember I saved up for my first property and I needed, that's funny, back then I, I bought it for 70 grand and it was like, so 20% was 15, 14 grand, right. you know, and I think Who I could afford 25. that. Yeah. And so, and, and it's like, I just, it was like, it was hard to crack that nut. Of you know, course it was hard it to is. get that down payment. So, but this primary, doing it in, on the primary is excellent. You can put 3% down on your first one and 5% down on each other one. And then you are getting a better interest rate because you're going to live in the home. Now, the dilemma that we find is that people become emotionally attached to the home or the neighborhood, and then they don't want to move out. And then it kind of stops the process. But, but when we show them that money on how much rent they'll be making at the end of 20 years or 15 so if years. You, if you buy five homes over a 20 year period of time and you follow our our path which is we don't keep any rent profits at all during your 20 years you consider that to be a retirement income just like a 401k and we show you how to pay down the mortgage with the rents that you're receiving you will have five properties free and clear in uh, in a 20 year period of time that will produce you between 25 and $35,000 per month in income. Now we're talking, this is using an appreciation over a 20 year yeah, period. Rents, of time. rents go up every year. But I only use a 3% appreciation. Yeah, we use conservative numbers. I'm not using no giant appreciation like five or seven, like we're getting right what now. Do we, what do we charge to come to that? Well, like five grand to sit with us for the week. Well, it's not 5,000, but I think it's $15, $15 to, to cover get, the appetizers, right? So, to cover the we'll get, appetizers. We'll get you a date on that next show. We'll get you a date. We're going to pick a date. But you won't want to miss that because listen, it, the longer you wait to get in the game, the longer it takes, you know, I ran across a guy the other day. He's got 40 properties, right? Nice. I had another client that had over a hundred properties that he has. Now, listen, you think about how you're going to retire. He is actually converted his job into now just managing his properties, but he's making a hundred thousand dollars in rental income per month. It's absolutely insane. Yep. The amount of money and you have other people that are paying the bill for it. Right, so I got something for you. I've got, uh, Bob and Sue Smith, they're yeah. in their dream home. They're okay. in their house that is lakefront. They never want to move. It's 3,500 square feet. It's perfect. The kids are off on their own having grandkids. Yep. They're not going to move from this house. They've got burial plots picked out in the backyard. If they want to do it, there's ways for them to Absolutely. leverage that house to do it still. Sure. Well, we can either pull money out of that house to buy the next one, or you can put your 20% down. There are 15% down conventional what loans. What about the DSCR? So the DSCR is really for people that don't want to show their income or not claiming a lot of income on their taxes. Maybe they have complicated tax returns. So a DSCR is you find a property to buy. Now, this is only for investment property. These are not for primary residences, but you find the property and you, we determine what your payment's going to be based on how much you're putting down. And as long as the rent that you can receive in that property is equal to the payment, a one-to-one -one ratio. Just principal and interest or PITI? Uh, PITI. Okay, so You've all got, together, taxes. you got to be all ready. together, okay, all right. right? And we can go as low as a 75%. So they're still going to need 20 25% down. Most Absolutely. Likely. You Maybe. do for a DSCR, okay. you're going to need your 20 to 25% down. You're going to have to have a pretty decent credit, but it's allowing investors to get into properties that they don't show the income. A lot of folks out there, particularly self-employed, you and I see them every day. They make good money. They have good credit. They got cash in the bank, but they don't want to show uncle Sam that they make any money. So these programs are ideal bank statement programs, DSCR, hard money loans. And so getting a Rental, like so fixed rates on your primary home are right in the, they're in the low sevens they're right in the now. low sevens right what now. is what is the and so buying getting a rental property is gonna be you're what? gonna be in the high sevens high low sevens, eights, low, okay, depending so on credit score. and dscr runs about the same run it uh, dscr you're gonna run around eight and a quarter to eight and a half percent okay all right and if your credit better is better than a hard money credit's loan. great that's where you're gonna be if your credit is a little off then you might pay a little higher interest I rate i sold one of my listings to somebody who said they were gonna flip it and it is a good flip they, they got a good price on it my seller was in a hurry to sell it and it's funny, they came to closing, but I, I figured out their interest rate just off. They didn't have it on the on the actual settlement sheet. No, they didn't. But I saw their buyer's cost sheet, and I could figure it. The day, I saw the daily interest. Right. The rate was like 11.5%. Yeah, that's not uncommon well, for some people plus that are three not points getting up front. traditional mortgages. Three points up front. That's so. probably more private money or hard money. It that was no, that was hard money. It was yeah, hard money. It, that's going to be. And hard money can run you as much so as So the DSCR 14. is a much better alternative. Much better alternative. So now if somebody's got a hard money loan right now. 
Yes. And maybe they're not going to flip it and they decide, okay, I'm going to make this a then, rental. Then let's do, or if it's already a rental, because if it's hard money, it has to be a rental or it's supposed to be well, anyway. They're, they're going to flip it, right? Well, if they're going to flip it, there we have flipping loans for people that okay. are designed for flipping because otherwise mortgage companies want to keep their loan. Yeah. So when you're talking about alternative financing, non-QM, they're called DSCRs, bank statement programs, hard money. They're non-QM. They don't meet quality mortgage guidelines. Okay. So you usually have to buy those in the name of an LLC because they're treated much like a commercial loan. So you're going to pay a little higher interest rate. And most of them are going to come with a prepayment penalty for three years. You can buy the prepayment penalty to do a two year, a one year or a zero years. Mm -hmm. But you pay a premium to do that Understood. because the lender knows they're not going to get their money. But let's say you're a flipper and then wait a minute, you decide, hey, eh, I'm going to keep this house. It's going to rent for twenty five hundred. Then do a DSC. They might have borrowed two hundred and fifty to, to renovate. I've it, got but several worth, of those it, right it's now. It's worth three fifty by the time they're done working on it. You know, right? I've got several of those right now, Cleve, that investors bought them to flip and then decide decided to keep them because they see that they're going to wait for a few years for that appreciation. We are, we are on a roll, Bruce. What's the phone yeah. number? 407-250-9144. Again, 407-250-9144 or webringyouhome.com for the loan arrangement. Loveland Properties to develop your next real estate plan on what you're going to buy or sell. Or if you want investment properties, call me 407 407- Three five two eight one one eight. Yep. Go to clevelovelin.com. Yep. And Cleve's got an amazing team. Not only is he the best in the business at helping you get your home position to sell, but he has a team of buyer's agents. I'm working with Nanette Edmonds right now. Nanette, I'm going to tell you something. When we put her on a client, she really works for that client's needs. I've got one right now that they negotiated this house they got for a deal, but they had to pay a thousand dollars over the highest bid. Yep, right. Yep. But this client and it, 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 in me, in my opinion, the client's putting way too much money down They're They're putting like $250,000 or $300,000 uh -huh. down on a $500,000 house. Yeah. But he wants his low payment. Yeah. Right. But he now we just locked him in on a 60 day lock. Now you have to remember your standard interest rate locks are for 30 days. When you come to me on a 60 day lock because the seller couldn't close in time, we actually did the 60 day lock at the same price as a 30 day lock. Yeah. And that's unheard of in our industry, but that's what we have across. Well, that's country. why it's important to have somebody good working on that side of your money. Um, I, I just don't know a lot of people that don't need a mortgage. I mean, there's cash buyers, you know, I love working with cash buyers, but the, every, usually everybody needs some leverage out there. Well, you know, if you've got a lot of cash and you just don't want to pay interest, then that's fine. But I believe in leverage. You wouldn't get Warren Buffett paying cash for a home or for anything for that matter. He leverages it. And, he, and he's smart like that. So when we get back, we got, we got just a, a minute or so in this segment. But when we get back from the next break, I want to talk about why this is actually a prime opportunity for people to buy a home right now. And they look at it as a bad opportunity because interest rates are up. But I'm going to show you the numbers and the numbers will read your tea leaves. And that is what's going to show you why right. now is a great time. And I want to, to talk buy. about how when prices are up, this is a nation. You know, we talk about if you're listening to the media, you're watching one of those pinheads on TV that thinks they, they know about real estate, but doesn't even still lives in their mom's basement. And they talk about how real estate's bad right now. Nationwide prices up six and a half percent. This is around the that's country. Incredible. Numbers. And that's, that's the average price of a home. And the also inventory still low. Like there's, there's everybody's still in a buyer. There's nowhere in the country. In, in a sell in a excuse me in a buyer's market right now with more yeah. than six months of supply unless you like chopped off like mega but we're only not in a buyer's market because of the amount of inventory but the behavior is more of a buyer's market would little you agree? well i just think that there's more things that are negotiable you know and, and that's my people point. always remember the good and so um it's just they remember having 20 offers and cars lined up when they sold that house and they got fifty thousand over asked so yeah. anyway for any questions on real estate call me at 407-352-8118 bruce yeah. yeah don't go anywhere we'll be right back we got a lot of great things to talk about you can reach the loan arranger at 407-250-9144 407-250-9144 or start your application now at webringyouhome.com we're only going to do a soft pull you don't have to worry about doing anything to damage your credit Cleve and i'll be back in five minutes with more of the loveland report and the loan arranger show don't go anywhere